Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to see how to get collision detection on rectangle. So in previous episode we seen on circles. So this is the code of it. And this time we will see in rectangles. So you will ask from where you got this HTML code. So I got this from my boilerplate repository. You can just get the source code from here. I will also give the link in the description. So let's start. So first in the style sheet, what I will just do is come over here. And I will set a nice background. We will set canvas and here we will say background color. Here I will add the color code. And that's this. And I will save it. Let's refresh. So there we go. And either the adding just to the canvas, I will add to the body. Now everything will be back. Okay, perfect. So now we we are we will be able to get started. So what I will just do is select a bit darker. So if you don't know from where I got this, so this is also a feature in VS Code. And let's start. So if I go here, this is the basic code that I had and as always like I create like I created the functions for circle and at this time I'll create functions for the square. Okay. And in this square function I will ask it for x, y, width height and let's call it sqr that will be easy so i will access it for x y width height and then i need is nothing else actually so that's it and what i will just do is come inside this and here i will just define the this variables so the this dot x will be as x and this dot y will be as the y okay and this dot the width will be as the width and this dot height will be as the height right now after this what i will just do is create here a function called draw or let's call it show so show will be e. and what i will just do inside this function is I will see here yes inside this function what I am just going to do is draw and fill rect you can also use the rect function but I will use the fill rect so uh, what I will just do is see here and one more thing that I will also ask it for the color which I forgot about it okay and right over here I will say c dot fill rect and inside this function just specify this dot x and this dot y and then this dot width and then this dot height and after this I will see here c dot fill style fill style and here I will say this adds the color that I have so hopefully this will show it and here what I will just do is create here in variable and I will call it square one and inside this I will say new square and inside this function I will specify 100 by 100 by 100 by 100 something like that and now if I refresh and one more thing that I forgot about the color let's give it as red so now we are not seeing it because I haven't called the show method let's say here show boom so we have it over there and this should be before it I believe okay so now we have our rectangle and what I will just do after this is I will just create the square one 
and the variable square two. So, so after this, what I will just do is see here function. I will see here in it, and in this function, I will just define these all variables. Inside this function, I will say square one equals to the. Well, let's directly draw it on the any in the animate function. So let's get a bit short. Let's do a shortcut here. Request animation free. Here I will call back as animate, and right below it, I will also specify the clear rec. And here the x zero zero and in a width and then the inner height. Okay, and right over here, let's define it over here only. And I will say here as new square. And inside this function, I will specify the x. So right over here, uh, let's. So I will define the squares here because I want to also make it following. So that will be a bit short code. Here I'll say square one, and this will be the big square that we have. That will sh that should be in the middle of the screen. Let's say equals to the new square. And x will be the inner width divided by two, and the y should be inner height divided by two. And width will be let's say as one. Let's set it as two fifty and two fifty, and then the color let's keep it at the blue one. So again, I will use. The color picker. I will search for color picker. Now, what I will just do is pick one color. So, I will pick this color color for the second rectangle. And for the blue one, I will pick something. Okay. So, I will pick this color for the blue rectangle. Okay, so now what I will just say is s square one dot show, and if I refresh, we see nothing, and that's because we need to call the animate function. There we go. So now if I refresh, still I don't see anything. Why? Why is that? So right over here. Okay, so it's because of this error that we will get. I comment it out. So now you can see we get a rectangle. But here, what I will just do is say here minus fifty, fifty, and what this should do? Let's try here minus one fifty. X. So let's try here one hundred. Right, so 100 seems a bit in the center of the screen, and after this, I will just simply copy this code and just hop this code below. And here I will say mouse dot x dot x, and here I will say mouse dot y, and I will not say divided by two minus 100, and this will be 100 by 100. And the color code will be this, which I just so something like that. Now, if I refresh it, so now you can see we have a red rectangle following my cursor, right? And I think so. We should do it 50, and let's set the width and height by 100. It should be a bit little imperfect. Okay, 
so this looks kind of perfect and it's of the same width and height and what I will just do is say here here I will say sq1 x and this will be as this and here I will say sq1 y and this will be also like that okay and we have set in the properties and everything we have working right now so what I will just do is close the color picker and let's get into the main thing that we need so to do that what I will just do is run here an if condition and that in that if condition what I have to say is mouse dot x means the x of the square 2 that we have right and I will say if it's greater than less than sign or equals to so it could be also equals to so it should not be sticking that's why I am saying or equals to then what you can just do is just get the square 1 x so this is for x and I will say add one more and statement so let's keep something like that and I will call it somewhere over here ok so this should be there ok so so this is better and in this if condition I will say console dot log collide I will say collides and in the and statement I will also say mouse dot x and less than greater than or equals to the square one x that we have and here I will say plus 100 means the width that we will add let's also add it over here means the radius of the circle indirectly right over here what I will just do is if that is true then we are printing it collides let's open the console right if I refresh and now if I go to that side means if I collide from the X then it prints collides and let me show you what if I remove the statement ok so let me just save it now what you will see that when I collide from here it prints collide but when I get over here it just prints collide so this means that we have developed for the left but not for the right side so then we are using this AND statement to make it work for the right side also so now we have done from the X if you see we did, did it from the bottom then still it works it still prints collide so let's do it for the Y and for the y also we have to do the same thing but here is for the y ok something like that here will also come y and here also we have to specify the height plus the height in this case it's also 100 so now if we see we have developed and proper collision detection for square so to make it a bit more better what I will just do is add an else condition and I will make a color changing code for this here I will say if that's true then what you can just do is similarly cre recreate the square one but create it with the, this color code and else and here I will say sq1 dot show and else it's it's not colliding that what you can just do is create your normal circle and say here dot show for it square one dot show right let's try this out and now if I touch it it turns red and it prints collide when I don't touch it it doesn't turns red right 
so so thanks for watching guys and this is it that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching